my name is David Yambio. I'm 25 years old, originally from South Sudan. Today, I am the co-founder and the spokesperson for uh, Refugees in Libya. The road to becoming a refugee is a very long way to go, and uh, I found myself, you know, that I was a human rights defender. And uh, the moment I realized this, I gave it uh, all that I could because of the circumstances which I had to live in and to experience. I was born in a war-torn country, actually, and I found myself, you know, being forcibly conscripted by my own government to fight. For me, this was the first uh, human rights violation which I experienced. I left my country and I chose to become a refugee. In Libya, what I found upon my arrival is, you know, a kind of... Uh, degrading and inhuman treatment that I did not even receive in my country. The 1st of October 2021, there was a mass raid against the migrant and the refugee community in west of Tripoli in a place called Grigaris. They attacked thousands of people. Over 5,000 people were put in detention camp in an overcrowded uh, warehouses. And for me, this gave me the, the need to demonstrate that we need recognition. In the, in the field of this work, I am imagining a world where even people don't have to be persecuted, people don't have to be forced to migrate. Of course, people can migrate freely for different uh, reasons because migration is a, is a natural right. We, achieve, we have the right to do this since the moment we are born because it's nature. People migrate for enjoyment, people migrate to access you know, good education, to explore, to just be able to see different society around the world. So I am advocating and uh, imagining a world where, you know, there is freedom of movement for everybody, like uh, what I have seen and what I am enjoying now in, in Europe. When I was in Libya, you know, trying to be vocal for myself, and for the other people who were experiencing the same situation. First, uh, the protest which I was leading was violently evicted on the 10th of uh, January last year, 2022. And then immediately I was the main target of the state, of the Libyan state and the militias. Video, videos of me and uh, my names, my informations were spread all over the Libyan national television, uh, portraying me as a threat to the Libyan security. For these reasons, I was shot at three times and I escaped. And my roommates died because I was being targeted. And afterward, I was targeted online. And even at a time when I was being repressed, I applied for a humanitarian visa to come to Italy and Germany only for my visa to be rejected. Italy was already persecuting me because they, told me, they saw me as a threat. I may not be the first to, to stress out why I am, you know, not believing in what they have done so far and I will not be the last because they have been failing us. I'm here today explaining these experiences because of the, you know, the fear role of the international community to ensure a safe space for the global society. Because we see that uh, even the international community today, when you look at them, they are being structured in a way which is just, you know, very discriminative. These, the, the protection and the recognition given to other countries are not given to some other parts of the world. And these other parts of the world is where I come from, the southern part of Mediterranean, the global south. These recognition are not being given. When I was growing up, I never imagined that I would leave my country and become a refugee. I never imagined, but then reaching at this circumstance, I understood that it was the farewell of the international community to, to advocate for my well-being and for the well-being of my society.